Hey guys, you may recall in my first video blog I mentioned that I got married. Well, it uh, just so happens my wife is an artist and I thought in this video I would take the opportunity to give you a little tour of her studio and show you some of her pieces. So first here is a look around the studio. Here's our workspace. It's actually a door up on some sawhorses. Makes a really great work surface. Now, well, let's start over here. She often draws quickly, drawing inspiration from things she sees around her or things she's currently interested in. For example, animals. She's been doing a series of chickens lately. I like how she's able to capture the essence with just a few brush or pen strokes, for example. This is our dog. I'm going back over this way for a moment. This is a headstone rubbing from a graveyard on the East Coast dating back to the early 1700s. The life. Now back over this way we have some more very colorful chickens. And some more graveyard rubbings. If you ever get the chance to go to a historic area like Philadelphia, DC, New England, uh, I highly recommend taking a graveyard tour. Some really interesting history there. I like how she repurposed this little box of Valentine's Day chocolates. Now she didn't create this. What this is is Mexican lottery cards. You may notice the Mexican influence on a number of pieces. It's because she is half Mexican. And proud of her heritage. For example, we went to a Day of the Dead festival and took a number of photos. When we got back, she created some pieces based on them. She really did a great job capturing the likeness of this young woman. Here's another portrait. Continuing over on this wall is another young girl we saw at that Day of the Dead festival. An amazing little girl with this great makeup job, a very wraith-like. She created this custom frame and surrounded it with pressed roses, one of my favorite pieces. Some more Mexican-influenced art around it. She's a long-time fan of comic books and cartoons and rock and punk music, and I think that comes through in her pieces as well. Her other interests have influenced her style as well, be more of an open, free-flowing style, often drawing with paint rather than a more conventional technique. I love these pieces as well. So much detail, so much going on. This bat's one of her more recent pieces and also one of my all-time favorites.
Here's one final pan around the room. Please leave any thoughts, questions, comments down below and she'll be happy to get back to you. That's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of her studio and art.